ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഗ്രാമർ ത്രൂ ഓഡിയോ ലെസൺസ് ബൈ ഡോക്ടർ ടി ജെ ജോസഫ് ധോണിക്കുഴിയിൽ ഹെഡ് ഓഫ് ദ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് കോഴിക്കോട് എ ഡീറ്റെയിൽഡ് സ്റ്റഡി ഓഫ് ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ടെൻസസ് ആസ് യു നോ ദർ ആർ ത്രീ ടെൻസസ് ഇൻ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് പ്രസൻറ്റ് പാസ്റ്റ് ആൻഡ് ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഈച്ച് ഓഫ് ദീസ് ടെൻസസ് ഹാസ് ഫോർ ഫോംസ് സോ ഇൻ ടോട്ടൽ ദർ ആർ ട്വൽവ് വേർബ് ടെൻസസ് ഓർ Twelve tense forms. Today, let us look at each of these verb tenses in detail. We shall begin with present tense today. As I have already said, present tense has four forms. The first form is simple present tense. What are the uses of simple present tense? The first use of simple present tense is to express universal truths and general facts. For example, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. The earth revolves around the sun. These are universal truths. John is a teacher. He lives in Cotton Jerry. Victor sings well. These are examples of general facts. Another use of simple present tense is to express habitual actions actions that we do regularly for example i wake up at 5:30 every morning lucy goes to bed at 10 every night we play cricket every evening the third use of present symbol is to express schedules and time tables for example our school reopens on 1st june after summer vacation rajdhani express leaves trivandrum at 6 o'clock every morning our school finishes at 3:30 every evening these are all activities which are scheduled or which follow a strict time table another use let us say the fourth use of present symbol is to describe people places and things in the present context For example, Jobster is a social worker. He comes from Castlegard. He is a very generous person and helps people in need. Here we are describing Jobster's present activities, so we use simple present tense. Similarly, if you describe a place or a thing that is existing now, you use simple present. For example, Calicut is a big city. It has a lot of hospitals, schools and colleges. The people of Calicut are very friendly. The city has beautiful beaches as well. The final use of present symbol is to describe already arranged a future schedules or time tables of a particular person. Please do not get confused here. Here we are, we are using simple present for describing future activities. However, this is used to describe only the arranged and definite future schedule of a third party for example the prime minister arrives in kerala tomorrow morning he then meets the cm and cabinet ministers next morning he meets the governor and in the evening he leaves for delhi here someone is speaking about the prime minister's arranged scheduled future activities While using simple present tense you should be very careful in observing the subject verb agreement rules For example I we you and they will take the root form of the verb that is we one On the other hand he she it will take the root form or we one plus s es or ies depending upon the nature of the root verb For example I drink milk every night we play every evening you do your homework every morning they drink milk every night but he drinks milk every night she drinks milk every night it say the cat drinks milk every night with third person he she and it the root verb takes s es or is depending upon the form of the verb most of the verbs require 
S to be added to the root verb. For example, he eats rice, she sings well, John works very hard. But there are some exceptional verbs which require ES or IES to be added to the root verb. For example, verbs that end in O, CH, SH, double Z and double S add ES to the root verb. For example, he goes to school, she watches TV every evening. My mother washes clothes thrice a week. The bee buzzes. He always misses his train. If verbs end in Y, then there are some other rules to make the verbs singular. If the verb that ends in Y is preceded by a vowel, then we add only S to the verb to make it singular. For example, she plays every evening. He buys a new shirt every month. In the word play, Y is preceded by the vowel A and in the word buy, Y is preceded by the vowel U. Hence, we add only S to these verbs. On the other hand, if a verb ends in Y and it is preceded by a consonant, then Y is removed and IES is added. For example, he studies every evening. She verifies the account regularly. Ron flies kite every weekend. The verbs study, verify and fly. In the examples, end in Y, but they are preceded by consonants. Hence, we remove Y and add IES. Okay, that's all about simple present tense. Listen to this audio carefully and regularly. If you have any doubt, you can contact me at 9496521422. In the coming uh, audios, I will be discussing the remaining 11 tense forms and later active passive, reporter speech, conditional sentences, subject verb agreement, etc. So have a nice time listening to these audios and let me know your feedback. Thank you.